is our ball and beam balancing demonstration. This is one of the classical control systems problems of balancing a ball on a beam. What we've done really with this is split it into uh, as a demonstration of a much more complex control systems problem. We've got the ability to control this through a graphical user interface. All of this graphical inter user interface is running on Linux and was uh, developed with Java. But what we've done with the processor based on the Gizmo platform is we've been able to take the two cores and partition them between Linux as a general purpose operating system and ThreadX from Express Logic as a real time operating system. So we utilize one core for that real time operating system environment where it has direct access to IOs that are measuring the position of the ball and controlling the angle of the beam so that we can position where we are being directed. The information processed by the real time operating system is sent and graphed for us back on our general purpose OS and control system input is coming from the general purpose OS and going back to the, the real-time operating system. So that we've integrated what classically would be two different systems into one processor complex. The, when we look at this complex, we still are allocating uh, graphics and USB to the general purpose OS, giving it direct control of that interface. So this really has the ability to marry supercomputing type potential with microcontroller style I.O. So when I'm talking about that microcontroller style I.O., we're actually utilizing an I2C based A to D converter that is reading a strip sensor along our bar. We're able to do 8-bit conversion in real time and show hard real time conversion of that data and then outputting that directly from PWMs on the, the Southbridge or FCH for this solution and utilizing a 7805 just as an amplifier to drive the current for our servo control motor. We're also driving a SPI interface which gives us a little LCD just for a little color on, on this design and we're then utilizing the general purpose OS for direct control of our USB and our display interfaces, which comes back over to our touchscreen input. So this, this design overall marries the human machine interface with real time control in one package. While this is not a, an example of really what you can achieve with the performance, we're using less than 10% of the overall processing capability uh, to run this full demonstration.